Hello, I'm Nick Robinson. I'm the president of the Student Society of Abor Culture. And for Texas Arbor Day today, we're going to show you how to properly plant a tree. So when you select a location to plant your tree, you don't want it to be too close to any concrete barriers to block up your root ball or anything. Uh, you don't want it any near, near any power lines because that'll limit your growth later in the future. You want it to be have good soils for your certain species of tree. Today we're going to be planting a crimson spire oak. It is a mix between a English oak and a white oak. It is usually good with poor drainage soils. It's pretty good with drought tolerance. So it's pretty good in Texas because our summers get really hot here. So it can handle the heat. All right, so we're going to start digging the hole. We marked it out, the circumference of the 15-gallon drum with the tree in it. So we're going to dig to about the depth of the drum, but we're going to leave the tree a half inch to an inch above the ground to allow it for its roots to spread like in a saucer shape. The roots shouldn't have a problem spreading here because we got some pretty good moist soil here in Acidocious especially at this location. So now we're going to test the depth to see if the hole is adequate enough to plant the tree in. You want it 0.5 to an inch above the ground to allow it to have better root spread and to stabilize itself. So now what we're doing is we're taking the tree out of the pot and you just want to hit the top and then pull it out. That's the best way you don't damage the tree and you don't damage the roots too much. And that's perfect. Some problems that come with trees and pots is if they're sitting in the pot too long, they can the roots can circle around and that's not good for growth. So you want to select good trees from good nurseries that aren't haven't been sitting in the pot too long. This one doesn't look too bad. You're just going to simply cut it and it'll be good. Some trees get really bad and get overgirdled. And they even have girdling roots over the root crown. Right. So what we're doing now is we're breaking up the root ball by simply just cutting off a half inch on the outside of the root ball. This breaks up the roots so when you put it in the ground they don't girdle and grow in a circular way. This allows the roots to spread up evenly and have a better chance of survival and growth. This won't give you problems right away. But say in 15, 20 years, you're going to have a problem. Your tree's going to start dying. And you're going to be wondering why. It's as simple as not cutting the roots when you put it in the ground. And you don't have to use some fancy tool. As you can see here, we're just using a handsaw that's maybe 15, 20 bucks, if even. So now we're going to test to see if it looks good in the hole, if we need to adjust the hole or anything. So now what we're doing is we put a shovel down to measure the plane to see if it's nice and flat. And after we cut the root ball and put it in, we saw that we need to raise it up a little bit. Also, when you're handling the tree, always grab it by under the root ball so you're not damaging the root ball near the root collar. Now after we saw that the hole was too deep, it's as simple as just adding a little bit more soil in the hole to get it at the adequate height. So now we're going to fill in the hole with the soil that we left in a pile on the side. So the reason why Texas Arbor Day is in November is because planting trees in winter is ideal. It gives the trees an opportunity to grow and have their root growth adequate enough for when the summer heat comes because the summer heat in Texas is brutal on our trees. What they're doing now is they're packing it down to make sure that tree doesn't move. So what we're doing now is we're pouring water on it to allow the soil to cling better around the root ball because when you put it in, packing it's not going to get the job done all the way. There's going to be some holes in the soil around the root ball. So when you get it wet, it allows the soil to get 
those holes to go away. So with watering your plant, you want to usually two to three gallons of water around the root ball twice a week for about three to five months, and that'll provide enough water and to let it grow. And once it gets big, you don't have to worry about it as much. Now that you got the tree planted on the ground, we're going to spread the mulch around it. You want good organic mulch. So when putting your mulch down, you want to go at least to the drip line, which will be two to three feet from your root collar. So when you apply, after you apply in your mulch, you want, this is a visual representation of the berm that you want. You don't want it to be too steep because that can lead to too much water being held, which will drown the plant, and you don't want to drown your plant or the root ball. What you also don't want to do is you also don't want to put a lot of mulch up on the tree because you can suffocate the root collar. The root collar is essential for getting nutrients out of the air and getting oxygen. And when you suffocate it, it'll cause it to rot away because it holds moisture in the root collar, which creates rot. So mulch is good because it lowers soil temperature and it lowers evaporation so the water will sit in the soil and in the root ball longer during those hot dry months in the summer. So another good thing about mulch is it prevents grass from growing all the way up to your root, root ball and this prevents damage from lawn care companies with weed eaters and lawn mowers. We're done planting our tree. We just wanted to say thank you for joining us from Student Society of Aboriculture here at Stephen F. Austin University.